Hey guys, Zephanix here. And so, for those who may or may not know, yeah, Steve Bomber kind of dropped, dropped the bomb on us, or whatever you want to call it, and pretty much announced that Windows 8 will, in fact, go on sale next year. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, now that we know that, however, what does Windows 8 look like? You know, how good is it? Does it run smoothly? Well, actually, I have the answers for you. In fact, I have a very exclusive video from All Things Digital here to show you exactly what Windows 8 is going to look like. So, you actually will be surprised because we saw a lot of screenshots out there before and we've seen a lot of modified versions of Windows 7, but come to find out, that's not the case. So, let's go ahead and check out the brand new versions of Windows 7 8. Uh, Windows 8, rather. <laughs> And as you see, this is actually the start screen for Windows 8. Now, if it does look familiar, that's because it should. It's pretty much a high definition version of Windows 7. Windows Phone 7, that is. And um, that's actually a good slash bad thing, depending on how you look at it here. Now, of course, you can go ahead and just uh, have your home screen up here. And just like with Windows uh, Phone 7, or Windows Phone, rather, you write down here, you have the icons in terms of like, um, you know, if you've got chat, if you have... Um, emails and I'm not even sure what this is exactly um, here you have different things such as like um, your calendar things and time and you know and the date and all that and of course um, it comes with the picture um, little white boy playing soccer not included so uh, actually might be included how um, Microsoft works but anyway so let's go ahead and take a peek here and see what's going on so as you see he took his finger up and he pushed it up and when he took his finger and pushed it up, you notice that the screen went up very a la um, Windows Phone 7. And then you have the, um, the screen here where it's locked. So you click on it. And this is actually the actual interface for Windows uh, 8. So as you see here, here you have your email. And if, uh, you can already see from right here, these are actually live tiles. Just like the live tiles that were on Windows Phone 7, they're now um, into Windows 8 right now. So you see right here, you got the... Um, you have the Internet Explorer. You also have um, your emails and things of that nature. Uh, you also have um, his looks like it may be calendar. Um, this one looks like you know different investment things, the weather, and uh, hey, look, digital distribution store. Go figure, huh? Anyway, um, so yeah, you also have videos and music and things of that nature here. So let's keep it going here and see what else is available. So you see the start screen up here. Um, the person's um, profile they logged into right there. So that's actually looking pretty good, and you go. You've got the desktop where you can actually go to your desktop, man. Um, as you see, he, as you see here, excuse me. As you see, uh, he actually swiped to the left, and you got a couple of things, including RSS feeds and uh, control panel, all right here. And he can go back and forth to them as his heart desires. And he has Tweetorama here. I'm not really sure why he's using Tweetorama. I actually don't even use Tweetorama. So it's actually um, so that's pretty much the main interface. Now, um, I'm not 100% sure. Well, we're actually getting to all that in here. So right now, he's checking out some RSS feeds. And this is actually one of the things I love, too. I love RSS feeds. So it kind of looks nice to go ahead and have them exactly here. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have the photo blogs, too, as well as anything else that um, may come to be here. So that's actually a really good thing here. And then let me just go back here a little bit. As you see here, you got the indication bar right there. And then you also have the time. Now, I want you also to take a look over here where you have your extra, um, your bar here, which is very a la Windows Phone 7, where you get to bring up a bar and it has different options right there. You have search, um, this is the home button right here, connect, um, settings, ECT. So there you go, also start screen up there. So as you saw right there, he actually went ahead and clicked on the, um, the weather here. Nice you know, animated background there. It actually looks like a real nice weather app too. Um, here are some stocks, you know, Check out NASDAQ and all, the, all that stuff for those who are interested in the stock. That's actually pretty cool. Once again, he opened up the screen over here. So as you see right here, what he's doing right now is kind of like, um, you know how you all hold the Alt button, hit tab? That's how you do it now. That's app switching now. All you got to do is swipe to the from the left over to the right, and that's app switching now. Notice how extremely fast that was. Now, he's actually bringing up video, so this is the new video player. Uh, notice the icons and how they are right there. So this is Zoom actually built in to Windows 7, or Windows 8, rather. And then what you have is, remember the, um, the Snap thing? Well, now Snap is right here, and it's actually a lot easier to do. 
he just brought up a little bit and just bang it snapped there while you still have the um, video there and then you can actually expand the snap to as much as you want it to be and then each window actually changes depending on the situation which is another good thing and once again he's switching apps just like he was in the other time with this particular part out now watch this notice how fast that actually opened up there I want to go ahead and show you again notice how fast in uh, Internet Explorer just popped open there bang you know that's extremely fast and then of course you scroll down here now you have your tabs right there so your tabs are no longer in the way here now like I said before this looks very tablet and it should because this is actually designed not to only work on desktop but to work on tablets as well unlike um, Google Chrome which actually is totally designed to go ahead and just work on um, the OS rather it's just able to work on the um, what do you call that the tablets and not even regular tablets to be perfect anyway though um, so yeah now he's doing a quick search you notice the keyboard is very Windows uh, Phone 7 right there in fact it's exactly Windows Phone 7 and then you're also given another formation of a keyboard here that you can actually use so yeah basically two keyboards right here now you also have the um the Excel programs that you have and you notice that when you clicked on Excel an actual interface of Windows 8 similar to it actually popped up here now I'm pretty sure it's modified of course they're not giving out the full stuff just yet but it's definitely a modified version so you can access your Windows um your Windows 7 rather your Windows 7 interface right there and of course you got um, him running this particular program here so as you see right here the file system is actually 100 percent in place and then you're still having um, you know you can basically switch back and forth at your own um, leisure here I'm actually going to go ahead and get this uh, particular program here and I'll review it very soon so uh, as you see here he's jumping through his files and he actually can uh, click on files and actually switch through his um his main things here. So this is basically you know your documents, pictures, you know the ones that are on um the start screen right there. And then apparently there's a uh, built-in photo feeder. Uh, once again, very a la uh, Windows Phone uh, Windows Phone Seven. And that was pretty much it. So that's the ball guy who's actually giving us the information. So that's pretty much it with Windows Phones, uh, Windows uh, 8, rather. I know I keep calling it Windows Phone 7 because it looks very much like it. So that's pretty much what it is, Windows 8. Uh, I want to know your opinions. Let me know what you think about Windows 8. 